Hi, I'm Newbie. We're back. More Suki then. Um, last time we met Dracula, and then off screen, um, I acquired the urn with no name. Hello, I heard you appraise things. Well, you really need. He's going to make sure that all the treasure you get is properly appraised. You can actually just ask him for money. But no, work for me instead. Name is Jabba. Jabba. Yo, Jabba Jabba. That's the one you're going for, not the hut? Uh-oh. I accidentally undid my stream name. Yeah, alright, so that gets us up to 60. I actually did a count at the end of the last stream, just to make sure that we were on... By the way, you, you are forced to keep the uh, the nameless urn, and you cannot tell it because it is unknown how <laughs> it's worth. It is unknown. So, it just sits there. Jacob I... doesn't live in a hut anymore, he lives in a castle. I could go offload the urn, but that's a waste of time, so... Uh, Juan. The temple. Alright, so here there's a man who joins us automatically, and then Morgan, who is in the back of Quan Temple. Uh, we will have to use Morgan for at least a little a little bit, because he has not a unique rune, but a rune that like oh, No. <laughs> cool, that happened. <laughs> Hold up. Yep, that was the next guy I was supposed to recruit. Okay. <laughs> um, like, after the next story beats, I just, you know, I fast forward ahead of time. Um, yeah. Who was I talking about? Morgan. Um, Morgan has an extremely rare rune on him. At least if it's the character I think it is. And the only way to get it is an extremely rare drop from certain enemies. No, it's a different person I'm thinking of. So Zen is your gardener. Army's gotta eat. Morgan. Yeah, I guess. Morgan is a blind man. Have you seen a war scroll anywhere? Hmm. Can't say I have. Huh. There's a lot of characters that are just like, find this one item and hand it off to them. So, newbie, if a man wearing two headscarves on came up to you and said, hey, want to come live with me? Would you? Hmm. hmm. What's my current situation? What am I doing? Currently streaming a uh, Coden. Alright. Does this army need a streamer? Does this um, army need, need publicity? I could be the publicity man. Yeah. This army needs a social media coordinator. You could do that. I, I will run the Twitter for the Revolutionary Army. You also need to do video editing. <laughs> So here's a guy that joined you literally because he understands the 108 stars thing. <laughs> He's just like, no, yes, you're this star, you're this star, I myself am a star, therefore I have to join you. So he read the frequently asked questions. Yeah. Does he point you in the direction of people you can recruit? That would be extremely useful, and I actually hope he does that. Hmm. Because that would actually make sense, fit with the character and all that. 
be really great if he was just bad at his job and just grabbed the nearest 108 people to think of. Oh, I didn't even go over the party we have, because I did that off screen. Uh, so yeah, we have Sarah, the, uh, the laundry lady. Mm -hmm. We have Black Man, the farmer. Mm -hmm. And Ronnie Bell. Nice. Um, according to Crumb, uh, Black Man is actually an extremely powerful melee fighter. Uh, as is Ronnie Bell. And Sarah is a surprisingly good mage for being just a laundry lady. So, why did Blackman join you again? Um, I forget. I think he's one of the people that you just walk up to and he's like, well, I'm sure I'm here farming, and you go, hey, why don't you join us? And he's like... He was fixing a fence or something, wasn't he? No, he was farming. He specifically had like a couple of sprouts in front of him, and if you talk to him without stepping on any of the sprouts, he joins you. Then what's the difference between him and Zen? Do you need two farmers? Look, I don't have all the answers. I guess you need several blacksmiths, so... Whoa, okay. Huh. This dungeon might be hard. Well, you do have brand new people. Ones you haven't used before. Oh no, I was just massively underleveled. Okay. Yeah, that, that fixes it a bit. I kind of just want to see how many levels each person gets. <laughs> Some are getting, like, way too many. Yeah, we're clearly going to get two. How are you on your blacksmith gathering? Um, we are currently at four. The only one we are missing is the Master Smith. Who, uh, did I never equip that good oh, helm dear. on? Yep, I never equipped that better helm on Cleo. Put it on her. Um, Cleo was very, very behind. Yeah, we haven't used her for quite some time. Well, didn't she abandon you at the beginning of the game? No, that was Pawn. We actually used Cleo for a little bit. Um, because we were forced to, first of all. Sure. <laughs> Just save real quick. Yeah, I you should emphasize, but you can tell by the difference in time there. It took me next to no time to get the Nameless Urn. It was like two fights. Yeah. Yeah, fuck this. I banished them. So you can't really grind for levels very easily in this, can you? Uh, no, actually. They kind of level lock you since you get very dis d diminishing returns on levels. I wonder if there's an inn in the temple. Because Cleo and... And we'll be fine. I was going to say, Cleo and Sarah got so many levels that they probably got a bunch of new spell slots. <laughs> yeah, see, I can deal with this encounter. So you don't really carry around a tent like you do in Final Fantasy games? No, they actually, th like, there is not an equivalent of a tent in this game at all. I mean, carrying around a tent makes sense. Carrying around a cabin does not. It's a collapsible cabin. Is it like in a Pokeball? Huh. Apparently enemies in here do a lot of damage, but they don't have a lot of HP. I choose you, Cottage Chew. Oh, actually, it's more like Dragon Ball Z, where everything just comes in a little pill. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, damn, nothing has health in this place. Except for probably those golems, I'll bet you they have health. 
We'll have everybody attack the Banshee and then, you know, I'll ensure that somebody will hit it. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, those... They have health. Luckily, we have crits. How, so, qu how quickly this game went from, like, everything is terrifying to, oh no, actually, we're fine. Also, we just got a flowing crystal, which is extremely good. I think. <laughs> Let me make sure. Flowing I mean, rune can be used. Nice game. I don't know why they're calling those things clay dolls, because they're huge, and they don't look like dolls. I don't know, actually, either. That's a good, good point. So does everyone have a rune right now? Um... Yes, actually. We actually have a full nice. rune team. Uh... I believe Victor and Blackman have killer runes, which just increases their crit rate. Hmm. Cleo has her fire rune from way back in the beginning of the game. Uh, still really good with that, so no, no reason to give her something better. And... You know, main character has his storyline rune, and... Yeah. Uh, Sarah actually has a lightning rune, because we had one of those briefly, but it barely showed it off that much. Okay. Um, the flowing rune... If I remember what that is correctly, trash. Um, it is, yeah, this is the correct way. We don't want to go this way, actually. Uh, the flowing rune is the level two water rune, similar to Mother Earth being a level two earth rune, which just means it starts out with the better spells earlier, which for the water rune actually kind of kind of sucks because I want to say the level 1 spell is a single target heal. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's send these guys to the Shadow Realm. So, I'm holding a rune right now. Mm -hmm. My phone has Bluetooth. Bluetooth symbol is actually a rune. Uh-oh. Golem is a little strong. Luckily, everybody was depending. Huh. You know, I never really thought about that. When you put it that way. Yeah, it is a little bit of a rune. No, it is. It's actually a rune. It's the rune for Harold Bluetooth. Is that Danish king? I cannot tell if you're kidding or not. No, it's true. Just because my sarcasm doesn't really come through ever doesn't to uh, say true things. That little B with the H in it, that's uh, his room. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, excuse me if I'm just like skeptical. Also you need because... to start watching QI. What is QI again? Um, Q QI is a uh, British sort of panel show where they just talk about interesting things. Quite interesting, actually. What it stands for. I've watched that uh, British thing where like they have a game show each year about things that have ha has happened in the year. Oh yeah, the big fat quiz of the year. Yeah, that's usually pretty, pretty good. good. So you, you'll notice that at this point in the game, uh, combat is a little trivialized. Like we had one hard, like one or two hard encounters in here. That was also because we came in with massively underleveled people. Now that we're actually getting up to speed, combat isn't too hard. Yeah, is Blackman hitting them with a rake? Yeah, and no, it's a hoe. Oh, okay. Um, it is the unfortunate thing about this game. Oh, there's the let go symbol, and that's my rule. That's my rule. As soon as I see let go, I actually have to start using it. 
I'm just saying, like, there is a farm implement that's used as a weapon. You're right. But, um, that would make too much sense. And this is, of course, Suikiden. I, yeah. I not only brought a escape or talisman, I got one from a random encounter outside, and then the dungeon gave me one. What's the point of selling these in stores? Um, same reason that you would sell a rock that keeps away tigers? Wait. To take people's money. I feel like that's a reference to something. Simpsons. Ah, there you go. Holy crap, Blackman. Blackman, we need to put you in the front row, actually. The, uh... Yeah, you are, uh, swapping with the main character. You are extremely tanky. I'm just going to show this off for now. We can't do anything with this, but I'm just going to show that this exists. Meet Crowley. Crowley is the, uh, the strongest mage in the game. Uh, you cannot recruit him until you've recruited a hundred other people. Yikes. Yeah. Well, time to come back. Yeah, this is a... There are a number of people that you have to come back, like, right before the final fight of the game, and find. There's him, uh, there's the strongest melee fighter in the game, Persmurga. He is... Ah, there's that war scroll. Um, Persmurga is extremely good, but you need... Because I, I want to say it's at 100 people, your castle upgrades to its 5th version, and that's when these people let you recruit them. Hmm. Well, do we have next plan of attack? Uh, after this dungeon? Yeah, I got a couple people to go run around and get. Yeah. Do we have someone to do our taxes? Hmm. I don't do think revolutionaries so. revolutionaries actually pay taxes? I'd imagine they wouldn't. Are they that against the system? At the same time, taxes keep the common person from starving. Taxes, you're literally paying to the people in charge. In order to make the lives of the lesser man better. Now, if they in do theory. that, if they, yeah, if they do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. now we're getting to technicalities here. But if you were in open conflict with them, you're probably not paying them. Hmm. You make a good point. We are currently at what? 60 people? No, we're at 62? In our army? Yeah. Uh, we are currently uh, including the monk. Uh, oh, actually a lot higher. Yeah, we got a bunch of people in that castle. Yeah, the uh, including the monk, the farmer... And the monk, the farmer, the blind man, and the appraisal list that I just got would put us up to 83. I think that's the first time I've ever heard the term appraisal list. You know, a man that appraises, an appraisal list. Yeah. Alright, we can finally let go golems. Now, oh, wait, oh, oh. oh. Which way is the proper way? Which way is the hidden way? Many strong men await me. I do like that Ronnie Bell 
has a rune called the Hate Rune that just lets her throw a Dokin. So she's the Akuma of this game? This would be more of a Sakura. Maybe. I don't know. Cleo's sprite and Cleo's portrait look nothing alike, by the way. She's got that tall collar. No, I, okay, I keep saying that every time, but I think what it is is that there are things coming down from her circlet. Yeah. No, it's just uh, she has brown hair. Oh, yeah, and yeah, purple yeah. instead of, you know, blonde hair and pink. They mess that up sometimes. <laughs> ah. Still gotta fight. Gol Golmans. Mm, lost deadly fingers, that guy in the back. But yeah, uh, Blackman is actually, he's like, every time, I hate saying that name. Just say Blackman. I, I mean, I do. It's the, it's the last name. Hans Blackman. Ah, here we go, a sword. Here, I'm going to search the uh, history of the name Blackman. It was used... Oh, actually... Old English name, meaning dark-haired or dark-complexioned. Given to Danish Vikings, who settled in southern Scotland. Well, I was just compressed to singularity. And, uh, yeah. There's a bunch of people with the last name. Okay, look, I want that treasure chest. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> Let me get that box. Who are you? Oh! Hi, Ted. I have completely forgotten about this. Poor Ted. And now there's people. This guy's Yugi, right? The small boy? Yeah. Kind of. He did have a demon in him. Yeah. He just has non-protagonist hair. <laughs> what are you looking at? This treasure chest? Yes, give me the chest. Give me the box. Give me that box. <laughs> Can't you just climb over the bed? <laughs> I know, right? Village of the Hidden Rune. So what's your deal here in the Village of the Hidden Rune? Are you ninjas? Constantly makes me think of that song. It's a really bad name for like your mysterious wizard. Give me that chest. 
Fucking all you all this was was medicine. I just stole your fucking night quill. That's not a chest. Also, yes, I maxed out money. I did crime again. <laughs> Actually, I did crime to an extent, and then a dungeon happened. I did notice that, yeah. But seriously, baby Ted kind of looks like uh, Yugi without the hair. I'd have to see the portrait again. Also, here's Wendy. You'll note that Ted is younger in this. And yet, Wendy is also the same age. Also, Dracula's here too. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it, how dare you come here? Where is here? <laughs> okay, I think I've determined what makes someone evil. Capes. That's a good calling card. But not everybody with a cape is evil. In this scene, they are. Fair. So does Wendy have, like, wires going through her hair to keep it up like that? I mean, she does, if you look at the sprite, she does seem to have, like, a bunch of stuff in her hair. Mm-hmm. She seems to have, like, a uh, support structure. <laughs> uh, the first mention of Uber in the series. Uber plays a role in this one, a bigger role in the second game, and a major role in the third game. He is sort of like a demon swordsman. Also possesses a rune called the Eightfold Rune, which nobody knows what it does. It, it sets villages on fire. It just does things. Like, he is literally just like, my rune, like, you could, he could walk up and just be like, my rune does whatever it needs in order to move the plot along. That is true, and you actually never figure out what the deal with Uber is. <laughs> <laughs> He's a vampire? I don't know. <laughs> is he a vampire? He has a very dapper suit in the third game. Also, oh, piss, I forgot my bottle water. While this animation's going, I'm gonna go get water. Okay. Well, while newbie's gone. Hi, everyone. Nice, I got back in time. Good. That would explain why the story generally goes down after three. Yeah, they lost the main writer. Also, it's kind of weird, like, the series really could have ended after 3. The first three games kind of have, like, a thread of connected plot between them. And then, like, 4 is just like, also, it's like 300 years in the past. It's a prequel. It's just like the successful Star Wars campaign. They had, uh, three movies, linked, and then prequel. Kind of linked. We get to see Anakin Ted. Also, this is happening now. Actually, Ted would be more Obi Wan, wouldn't? Am I Anakin? Or am I Luke? I did kill my father. You did. So, okay, if I remember Japanese uh, use of the Star of David correctly, that is, you know, satanic. Did I ever tell you about the movie Fantasy Mission Force? No, but that sounds amazing. It's a Jackie Chan movie. And they had to... Uh, kind of get a entire band of people together and they got Wait. Oh god, that happened extremely fast. That that house went from 0 to 
Dead. <laughs> Alright, what was that lady guarding? Let's go see. A champion's crystal? What is that? No more feeble enemies. Fuck yeah. Oh, that, sweet. That'll be useful eventually. If I actually now slap it on somebody. Yeah. So you can't, uh... It can't have people, you know, let go anymore because they just won't attack you. Right? I forgot Uber actually showed up in this game. <laughs> Is Uber zero? Um... Kind of. Okay. Hi, Dracula. I just love that Victor's entire part in this part of the storyline is just for whenever Necklord shows up to just be like, Necklord! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it doesn't do anything else! He's a big arrow pointing to an uh, evil person. Sorry, Ted, your life's gonna suck for 300 years. What? Yup, sucks to be you, bye. Bye, Yugi. Alright, I saw that chest, I want that chest. <laughs> What's in the box? A boar, what the fuck is a boar crystal? Oh wait, boar crystal's the thing? Okay, thanks. Sweet. Another boar rune? It's just... <laughs> Wait, that's the one that Pawn had, right? What does it do? You yeah. Just look at it. Pawn's rune. He basically jumps into uh, people and then gets stunned for a bit. Unbalanced or whatever. Knocked out. Yeah. I'm gonna do a slightly more dangerous attack and then go out for one round. Let's take this kid with us. Let's break the timeline. Come on. Two runes. Wait, so Ted's entire village just died. How much magic does he have? Ted? Nothing. Oh, right. Oh. Good point. Um, let's say he has spell one. It has to be somebody close <laughs> to you. His entire village just died. He doesn't like any of those people. Oh, okay. They're all, they're all kind of dicks. You know, his grandpa is like the, the, the village leader. Gave him his deck of cards. do like this. Like, Victor, seriously, don't you have a mission? Come on. <laughs> so, considering all anime is just either Yu-Gi-Oh! or Dragon Ball Z, which one is this? Hmm, hmm. Trying to think which one has more war in it. Maybe Yu Gi Oh! Okay. Alright, we gotta give, give a man a war scroll. 
Bookman, join my army. <laughs> you recruited Hugo, the librarian. Uh oh. Huh. Hmm. I missed an item in, in that dungeon. Good thing I have two escape runes. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, the, the window rune is in here, but I apparently missed it. I, I did, right? Champion, flowing. Yep, I missed the window rune. It says it's, uh,. About four rooms in, go to the southeast corner in beginning of room. Oops, not pretty well. There we go. So what does the window rune do? It just lets you recruit somebody. Oh, okay. So it is required for the... Uh... Yeah, that's the only reason I'm going back in. Yeah, okay. Uh... I'm not seeing it. <laughs> oh, wait. Southwest corner. Oh, wow, it didn't actually let me run from this fight. Of course, the only item I missed in the entire dungeon. One thing I do like about the battles here is they're very dynamic. Yeah, they don't really, like, waste your time with any fluff. Yeah, people are just jumping around all the time. I really like the fact that if you target multiple enemies, then uh, multiple characters will attack at once. Mm hmm. Alright, they're getting ready to go to war. I'm gonna go take a nap. And we actually have a couple people to recruit now, because we can. Sweet. So we get to see the, uh, tiny pothead people? Uh, I don't think it- actually, is it a war battle? Uh, might be. This rune has my name, I'm gonna join, Window says. Is Window a magician? Yes. In that, through magic, he changes your... your text boxes. Wow. That may be the most useless creature that you can get. It's up there. I'm just gonna right. offload some gear. Keep that escape talisman just in case. Uh, so, what is the equivalent of the demon chocobo window type? I'm sorry, you're gonna have to say it again because that made no sense to me. Well, in Final Fantasy VI, you can change your window type to what it was called the demon chocobo. Huh. I don't know. We'll have to see. It, it looks absolutely hideous. Uh, Alright. So, let's hop on... Whoops. This is why you don't fast forward through menus. As I continue to do it. Alright. This guy, way back when, wouldn't join us because we didn't have a big enough army. There is one more person that we can't recruit yet that is on this list, 
uh, mm -hmm. because we needed to get uh, Kirkus, the uh, the Elven Archer guy, uh, to level 40 south end. So right now we are at 97 or 87 people. Okay. So when are you going to put all the blacksmiths in your party? We actually have to do that to recruit the final blacksmith. Yeah, let's do it now. Uh, we don't have access to the final blacksmith. Direct. Alright, back to the warrior village for plot. So, this place is actually called Warrior Village, right? Warriors a Village. Possessive. It's the village of warriors. Now, I'm not gonna accuse you of stealing the name from this for something else. But, it's pretty convenient that a game you love is something that you say all the time in another. Uh, to be fair, in that instance, uh, he is just from a warrior village. The warriors, the village's name is Redford. Mm -hmm. So the background, born in a warrior village, is just an adjective in that case, and not the name. We're talking about uh, our thirteenth age campaign, in which I play a paladin that whose village was... Alright, now that you mention it, he is from a warrior's village that was killed by a necromancer. Fucking, how do I keep doing this shit? I don't, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> also, I need to come up with the third, the fourth weapon type that he's gonna pick up, because right now, he has a sword, a plus one mace, a plus two spear. I need to figure out what his plus three weapon is going to be. Pitchfork. Nah. Um, a whip. Mm, that's an extremely strong recommendation. Oh, there goes all them men. So, I notice these people aren't wearing any armor. They're warriors. That would They're wearing aprons. That would give them like less to their two hit or something, right? Um depends what class they are. Warrior. Yeah, warriors wear armor. They're like one of the classes that can. By the way, there's some very Dracula music going on right now. So we're sieging a castle. Do you think 15 people is going to be enough? Hmm, hmm, hmm. We were just invited to his wedding. It would be rude. I really wish they gave your, like, incidental party members more dialogue. Just like, Blackman, what do you think? Eh? Well, they could do it the Chrono Cross way and just have stock dialogue options and just put it through a speech filter. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Blackman speaks like Poshul. Alright. Something about Hicks. Why does he have, like, 
forty percent more head above his eyes than he should. The art in Superhead N one is very confusing. I mean, I could believe it would be puffy hair if it his hair didn't like come out of the roots at the top there. That's the more you point it, I can't look at that art. It just looks odd. Maybe he's wearing just a giant fur hat. That's not his hair. Alright, we have to actually kick somebody out. Hmm. I kind of want to keep Sarah in, so I can show some magic on a boss. Yep. So, come, I'll let you decide. Blackman or Ronnie Bell? You know what? You're uncomfortable saying Blackman, so let's kick him out. Alright. I feel bad, but... Take, take a rest, Blackman. Go, 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 uh, go tend to your crops a little bit. I know you probably miss him. You go fight Zen for the only garden space on the castle. And of course, we do have to change our formation a little bit because Hicks is a short range character. Yeah. Hicks does not come with any runes. Hicks at least comes with full armor. I should have kept some of my spare armor on because it's probably better than what he has. <laughs> well, I'm sure we will. You can also find... give him the boar rune, can't you? Uh, you, you have to go to a rune setter. Ugh. There's a save point here. And a, uh... Church has the other side, but... Oh! Can't cut a video just yet, gotta fight this fight. Okay. Two enemies is never much of an issue, because, you know, we just... Actually, let's... Oops, see something real quick. Yeah, Cleo got a bunch of new spells. Actually, more than Sarah. Cleo is a better mage than Sarah. Well. Hmm. That was underwhelming. <laughs> she kind of exploded. Alright. Next time. Dracula.